Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and I've made it to my last video of the night. If you've seen any of my other three videos of Days of Our Lives, Old and Beautiful, or Young and Restless, you know that um, I have a shoulder injury. It feels like somebody hit me with a sledgehammer. I've got on this cold pack uh, compress um, shoulder thing. Um, the cold compress is no longer cold, so now all I feel is pain and I just want to get through this because I want to make sure you get your spoilers. If I don't get them out now, I don't think I'm going to get them out this weekend. So, while pain might be worse tomorrow, which I don't even want to think about. But, first, um, I want to give you uh, my thank yous to everyone who became a member. Jeff Payton, Penny Wise, Wiseman, Yvonne Todd, Gwen Marie, uh, um, Michael Pryor, uh, Samantha Greenridge, and Megan Maloney. Thank you all for being members um, of the SoFan membership group. Um, if you want to become a member, hit that join button. You'll see a video that explains all of the perks of being a member. You get exclusive access to videos as well as early access and a lot of other perks like when you're in live, you get emojis, and all, a lot of stuff. So, you know, just check it out and see if you um, if it's something you want to do otherwise if you're a subscriber I mean that's that's a lot <laughs> to me too so um, please be a subscriber if you decide not to be a member I love my uh, members and I love my subscribers I love you both and I want to continue to build uh, the membership up we're almost at 23,500 members so we're we're getting close to that 24k that I've been um, that I feel <laughs> is coming. Hopefully, by, by the end of the month, we'll get you know 500 subscribers to make that latest uh, plateau. Um, and also, finally, I want to mention so fan merch. Um, my first merch came today. I'm waiting for um, my T-shirts and all of that to come. But I got the Phoenix uh, Tremaine so fan mug. The Fiends Fire one that has my picture on it with me in my firefighter dress uniform and surrounded by flames and I just love it. Um, and I want to show that to you and I want to be more enthusiastic but as I speak the pain is just shooting, shooting, shooting through my shoulder. And um, yeah. So I said my thank yous. Um, if you have, uh, haven't done so please hit that like button um, so that YouTube knows that this is a good video for soap fans so that you can be part of our soap fan. And I'm going to give you these spoilers for General Hospital for Monday, August 17th. Elizabeth accuses Ava of self sabotage. Dustin runs into Brooklyn. Uh, Anna and Finn are at odds. Maxie changes her mind. Jax gets an important phone call. Tuesday, August 18th, Carly teams up with Nina. Sam steals a moment with Jason. Sonny has his doubts. Nick is dismissive of Ava. Chase runs into Sasha. Wednesday, August the 19th. Brooklyn gets caught up in the moment. Maxie makes a stunning announcement. Portia questions Jordan's behavior. Curtis attempts to connect with Trina. And Willow and Joss bond. Thursday, August 20th. Chase has a hard time seeing Willow with Michael. Elizabeth overhears an interesting conversation. Brooklyn puts herself in harm's way. Sasha struggles with her emotions. And Valentine attempts to win Nina over. On Friday, Friday August the 21st, Ned and Olivia butt heads. Sam sees a softer side to Brando. Elizabeth and Franco come to a realization. Michael makes a startling discovery. Julian is forced to make a life-changing decision. And it doesn't say it, and it doesn't sound like it, but according to the preview, next week is the beginning of the Nurse's Ball. I know Monday isn't a Nurse's Ball episode based on, you know, the, the video of what's going to happen on Monday, but um, the preview for the week shows the Nurse's Ball. So... Based on this, I can't tell which day is a nurse's ball day. Um, maybe it's Friday. I don't know. 
But um, sometime that week, forget the nurses of all. Maybe when they reveal next week's episodes, it'll be more clear of if the nurses ball starts Friday or if it starts earlier in the week. Um, but I just want Nina to hurry up and find out Nell's her daughter. I'm so tired of dragging it out. Please just move that plot along. And I am very curious about what Ava's pain looks like. So, um, and Lucy did say on Friday's episode that the nurse's ball was tomorrow. Because she did, she did want to go to the, the painting reveal. Um, even though she was forced to. So, yeah, we're getting the nurse's ball. I don't know what it's going to look like with all the social distancing and the lack of extras, but it's happening. Um, the only other news is Kelly Monica was back at work on General Hospital. Some of you will be happy. Some of you will be disappointed. Um, Lindsay Hartley put a lot of emotion and energy into the character. If Kelly Monaco comes back looking like she won't be on the show. If she comes back looking like, you know, she's mumbling her words. That, you know, she's looking at Jason like, you know, she don't like him. Um, and she's back to the emotionless void that Sam has been for the last couple years since Billy Miller left. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to start fast forwarding through her scenes if that's the, the Kelly that comes back. If the Kelly that comes back is back to being the Sam that I love, then more power to her. You know, welcome back, Kelly. But based on this picture, <laughs> that that's with the article that uh, Kelly Monica was back on the show. I hope this is an old picture because her facial expression is back to the she don't want to be on the show look. I hope this is just an old picture. I hope that she saw Lindsay performance and said, I need to wake up and do my job. So let me know in the comment section if you're happy that Kelly's back. Are you going to miss Lindsay? Um, do you recognize that Kelly has looked like she don't want to be on the show since Billy Miller left? Or are you just a Sam fan and you don't care if the actress is happy on the show or not? So go on ahead and let me know that in the comment section. Let me know if you're enjoying the General Hospital plots. Um, Cyrus taking over the hotel. Oh, another big debate we had in our soap fam um, General Hospital group was um, is Cyrus and Valentin working together? I say yes. It's too much of a coincidence that, you know, Valentin pressures uh, Sam into um, giving him the proxy so that he can take over uh, ELQ and then he blocks helping the hospital so Cyrus can slide right in and um, become the chairman of the hospital. It's just too much serendipity for it to be um, not part of a bigger plan. Some people feel like because Cyrus is a drug dealer that um, Valentin doesn't want to be a part of that. But Valentin Cassadon, when he was first introduced, was that he was the absolute scariest Cassadon of all the Cassadons. And with Starbros out there, that's saying a lot. So, um, I don't think he would really care. I mean, people act like Sonny's not a mobster. They refuse to say exactly what he does illegally. But they said he don't run drugs or guns. We know Valentino don't have a problem running guns, but um, drugs or guns. That's like what Sonny's supposed to be an anti-hero trying to block drugs and guns out of Port Charles when he's part of the five families. So do you mean to tell me none of the five families are doing any of that, that poor Charles is the only place in America where you can't get drugs. <laughs> and we're supposed to believe that fantasy world where that actually exists, where there's there's um, a place in your New York City that uh, a person can't go out and buy what they need to buy if that's what they want to buy. You know, that's like romanticizing Jason the Hitman uh, what does that man do? He kills people for a living. He's not a hero. He's a villain. But, 
he's romanticized. So a lot of people don't think of him as a villain, but his job is literally, literally to kill people for a living. It may not be on camera, but that's what he does. So if Sonny doesn't run drugs, he doesn't run guns, that means he's probably... Um, I don't even want to say it on camera because I don't want to be demonetized. So there's not a whole lot of major crimes left. Let's just say um, he did have that strip club where he was basically forcing uh, Scotty Dorter to, to be on the pole. So is he associated with stuff like that? That would make him worse than a drug dealer. So <laughs> that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, maybe one day they'll tell us what Sonny does. We know he's got casinos. And I think it's got to be more than money laundering. So for him to be a kingpin, you know. So tell me what you think in the comment section. What you think Sonny does as a mobster. Thanks for watching.